Chikitsa is the first treatment if there is swelling in the joint because there is Kapanu Bandha, Amanu Bandha. I am giving you the list of the medicine. You apply Nagaradi Lepa Churna. Nagaradi Lepa Churna is very much available. You apply Jadamayadi Lepa Churna. Very much available. You apply Grigadumadi Lepa Churna. These are the three major medicines which are highly recommended by classical Ayurveda to bring down the swelling. You apply Nagaradi Lepa, Jadamayadi Lepa, Grigadumadi. Nagaradi can be given when there is more vata domination. Jadamayadi, Jadamayadi means Jadamansi. That can be given when there is more pitta domination. And Dhrgadumadi can be given when there is vata kapha domination. Apply only three days. You will be getting substantial reduction in the joint swelling. And only after getting reduction from the swelling, you go to the Vadasya Ubakrama. That is the remaining treatment. So that is very much mandatory. If there is swelling, labor should be the treatment to be given. And you can see the entire joints are having swelling. Damani Anguli Sandhi Nam Sangoja, the interphalangeal joints are having swelling. And then if you are not treating properly, this will go to a very serious deformed arthritis. This will go to a serious deformed arthritis. So always practice panchakarma and rasayana to prevent deformity. There is no use of giving panchakarma in the deformed joint. That is what we do. You never make a false claim. You never make from false claim when you get an RA factor identified RA. You are getting a patient with a diagnosed RA factor. You start treating with the Lebana Chagilsa, Snekana Chagilsa, then go to the Panchakarma Chagilsa and Desayana Chagilsa. I will give you the list. Then you can very well prevent the forthcoming deformity. Irreversible deformity is nothing other than Dhadugada Vigirti. Pindan Niva Teratyandar Vakri Guruam Sevegavan Karodi Kanjam Pangumva Sharire Sarvada Seran that is beautifully mentioned as the joint complication. You can see Vakri Guruam Sevegavan. Everything is very beautifully told in Ayurveda. Practice Panjagarma. What is the best Panjagarma to prevent the deformity? I will tell you Chida Vasti. The best practical Panjagarma we follow in Government Ayurveda College Hospital, my hospital, Trivandrum, Kerala, that is Chida Vasti. Why? Nagi Vasti Sanam Kinti, Vada Rekta Chikil Sidam, Visheshal, Payu Parsur, Parvarti, Jadadarti Shu. We administer Vardamana Pippali Rasayanam. My dear friends, identify Vardamana Pippali Rasayanam is the excellent Rasayana which will prevent the joint deformity. Once you get a diagnosed case of RA, after the primary management with all the internal medicine, Medicine, you do the Virajana, do the Chira Basti, then give Vardamana Pippali. You know what is Vardamana Pippali Rasayana? You give 10 Pippali converted into powder with the ghee and the milk in the increasing day. First day you are giving the powdered Pippali, 10 Pippali. 10 Pippali is when powdered and taken as the Sushma Churna, it will become 3 gram. Are you getting me? I am giving the exact practical prescription. You take 10 Pippali, fry it in the ghee and powder it, you are getting 3 3 grams of pippali and administer 3 grams of pippali in the ascending order. Anubana should be always a Gurda and a milky diet. 3 gram first day, next day 6 gram. You can increase. Never ever prescribe pippali during the Grishma Yurdu and to the Pitta Prakriti person. That is the important thing. Natama Kavinji the Rasayana Vidibina. Pippali cannot be given other than Rasayana Vidhi. So what I am recommending is pippali will be having that much of action in the Dathogini and that is having Rasayana property. So irreversible deformity can be prevented by Vardamana Pippali Prayoga. That is very much mandatory and sometimes you can identify can you click from there somebody that is better we are above, we are creating 10, 10 seconds delay in each slide so you can prevent all these deformity provided you are administering the Chida Basti and Vardamana Vipali internally and internally and I will recommend you the application of Shaddarana Churna my dear friends please take it from me Shaddarana Churna Shaddarana Churna is an excellent anti-rheumatological yoga derived from Susruta in every pathology of joint disease initially there will be Amanu Bandha if there is Amanu Bandha Srodo Rodha Balabramsha Gaurava Anila Moodada Alasya Abhakti Nishtiva Mala Sangha Krama is there and we prescribe Shaddharana Churna. Ama Vade Sukham Bhovi Peya Shaddharano Athava. My dear doctors, I am telling every treatment only based on the classical Ayurvedic concepts, Pramana. I don't tell anything from my ideology, from my mind. Shaddharana Churna is indicated in the acute conditions of any Vada Vyadi since it contains Chitraka and Adivida. Adivishya is a number one yoga which is given against pain. 
पेन मैनेजमेंट इज वेरी मच पॉसिबल विथ थ्री ग्राम पाउडर ऑफ शुद्ध अति विषा चूर्ण ई विल टेल यू द इंग्रेडिएंट चित्रग इंद्रेव पाडा कडगा अति विषा अपया ओनली सिक्स रेड्स आई एम रिपीटिंग फॉर यू नाउ इट इज इन एवरी आईपीएल मैच यू आर गेटिंग रिपीटेशन ऑफ द सिक्सेस इन सीएमई आल्सो इफ देयर इज नो रिपीटेशन नोबडी विल लर्न सो आई एम गिविंग ए रिपीटेशन चित्रग इंद्रेव पाडा कडगा अति विषा अपया ऑल रसायनस ऑल ड्रग्स आर पोटेंट रसायन ऑल द ड्रग्स आर हैविंग दादु the action so that is the shaddarna churna 15 gram with the hot water twice daily shaddarna churna 15 grams with the hot water twice daily that is very important kalpana in the acute phase of any joint pathology like rheumatoid arthritis okay next then you can search vadarakta kroshtaka chisha amabata and sandhigata vada these are the areas are to be explored before addressing any joint disease today itself you please go and take your charaka samgida ashtanga hridaya and read this chapters my humble left ventricular request i repeat my humble left ventricular request cmes will be like this coming on cmes will be only on sunday there are still more days monday tuesday so please read one chapter per day from charaka susrutha vagbada read vadarakta kroshtaka chisha amabada sandhigata vada entire rheumatology spread over there so that is my simple request next and you can see the palmar erythema mandistadi kashaya if you are getting palmar erythema in such a clinical condition with vasculitis i am giving you the exact clinical condition and the practical medicine maha mandistadi kashaya mandistadi kashaya with kaisura gugulu the excellent medicine to be given in rectagada vada that is what i am telling palmar erythema if you see the ayurveda textbook you will surprise to tamra shyam lohida that is a beautiful picture we always believe devi putra samhida hari putra samhida do you know what is devi putra samhida hari putra samhida have you read it you are reading every day devi son and hari son <laughs> devi putra samhida hari putra samhida we never read our putra samhida that is ashtanga hridaya or charaka samhida so i am telling you you read our textbook and you will be getting a beautiful concept i am telling the centuries old concept even before the inception of the american rheumatological association our acharya told kanduadi samvidotane tok tamra shyam lohida see the picture tok tamra shyam lohida pama erythema that is the acute stage of rheumatoid arthritis with vasculitis take the pen and confidently write manjistadi kashayam plus kaisura gugulu fill it forget it i am telling you Hero Honda has a advertisement. No, fill the petrol nowadays. Every day petrol price is increasing. You fill the petrol, forget it because very good mileage. You fill the body with the manchester study. Kaiswara Gugulu, forget it. He will do. That is what I am telling. So I am not a Kaiswara Gugulu fan. Whenever I am talking about the Rekta Gada Vada and Kaiswara Gugulu, people used to call me Kaiswara Gugulu Kumar. because is that much action in rakta gada vada kaisura gugulu rakta gada vada yogaraja gugulu sandhi gada vada trupula gugulu medo gada vada gochira gugulu shobha anubandha vada kanjanara gugulu obesity these are the wonderful clinical examples of gugulu kalpana i am telling you please take it again from me kaisura gugulu rakta gada vada vasculitis yogaraja gugulu sandhi gada vada kanjanara gugulu hypothyroidism obesity stavulyam etc and trupula gugulu medo dushti gochira gugulu Gugulu, any pathology associated with the swelling with the renal edema. So what I am telling, Gugulu can be given in different clinical condition. So this is an example. Next, next we can see the very chronic advanced deformity. Continue, continue, continue. Okay, okay, okay. These are the picture I am telling you. Read it. And now I will tell you these are the important diagnostic investigations, acute face reaction, ESR and CRP. Somebody will come and ask, sir, you give me a medicine for ESR. There is no ESR kashaya, ESR vasti in Ayurveda. Actually, what is ESR? ESR represents the contribution of dhadu paga. Acute face reaction in the modern dermatology is nothing other than dhadu paga. My dear friends, any pathology of inflammation in the body, whatever be the initial pathology, it will go through a clinical stage called dhadu pagam we have to remember our concept also otherwise after 2 3 years no ayurveda will not be there only rheumatoid arthritis and kaisura gugulu will be there then somebody will have asked what is rheumatoid arthritis recently one boy asked me my student sir you are teaching about sle but i cannot see sle in charaka samhida even chakravani also didn't tell about sle 
ಅಥಾದ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಇ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾಸೆ ಅಮಹ ಇದೀಗ ಸ್ಮಾಪು ರಾತ್ರಿಯ ಅಂದೆಯೋ ಮಹರ್ಷಯ ನಾಟ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ಕನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಧಾದು ಬಾಧ ವಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಧಾದು ಬಾಧ ವಿದ್ರಾ ನಾಶ ಕೃತಿ ಸ್ತಂಭ ವಿಷ್ಟಂಭ ಗೌರವ ರುಚಿ ಅರದರ್ ಬೆಲಹ ನಿಶ್ಚ ಧಾದು ನಾಮ್ ಪಾದ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಧಾದು ಬಾಧ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಇವೆಂಟ್ ವೆಂಡ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಧಾದು ಸಾರಾಸ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಅತ್ಯಗ್ನಿ ಧಾದು ಗದ ಅತ್ಯಗ್ನಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ ದ ಧಾದು ಸಾರ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಬಾಧ ವಿತ್ ಆರ್ ಡೊಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಇನಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಧಾದು ಮಲ ಸಂಚಯ ಕಫಾನುಬಂಧ ದೆನ್ ಧಾದು ಪಾಗಂ ಪಿತ್ತಾನುಬಂಧ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಧಾದು ಶಯಂ ಬಾಧಾನುಬಂಧ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕಲ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲಿಂಗ್ of any disease as per ayurvedic language are you getting me yes yes or no yes. initially dhadu mala sanjayam kapham secondly dhadu bhagam pitanubandham and finally dhadu chayam badam this will be the inevitable defined programmed course of any disease that is why do langanam brimhyastu langaye first start langana langana in the joint is lepana i repeat langana in the joint is lepana langana in the kosta is ubavasa langana in the netra is by your applying the behulebo vidala I am telling you Lengana in the Kosta is Uvavasa Lengana in the Joint is Lepana Lengana in the Netra is Apply in the Vidalaga Ruchani Galpana Ama in the Kosta is equal to Clinically Kleda in the Rekta is clinically equal to Sofa in the Sandhi is clinically equal to Abhishanda in the Netra Are you getting me? I think you need to replay You need to replay very well I can easily get from your eyes Ama in the Kosta is equal to kleda in the rekta is equal to sofa in the sandhi is equal to abhishanda in the netra is equal to remaining i don't know i may try after 20 years so that is what i am telling in all these four pathological conditions simply administer langana ama in the kosta do langana kleda in the rekta diabetes mellitus kleda in the rekta diabetes mellitus increase of kleda increase of kleda is nothing other than hyperglycemia do langana ubavasa dieting and ama in the sandhi is nothing other than edima you never apply taila never apply oil you apply only the churna lepana rucha seda and ama in the eye abhishanda according to ayurveda every eye disorder are the product of abhishanda prayana sarve nainamayastu bhavandi abhishanda nimitta mula lu ekshana lengana so that is what i am telling you can search this much of investigations before you go next next these are the more you can see the x-ray changes you please see the right side picture the bone erosions are there when there is a chronic advanced rheumatoid arthritis astus asti sara heenada will be there the every dhadu will be having its or sara and some kind of and you are getting asti sara heenada then always think about the medicines which will empower the asti sara we prescribe rasna saptagam kashayam laksha gugulu and gandha dailam three wonderful medicine which will empower your bone density if there is asti dhadu chayam i am classically telling you apply three treatments rasna saptagam kashayam i always believe in herbal decoctions in the management what do you mean by rasna saptagam let me tell you rasna guduji merandam devadaru mahoshadam pibe sarvangage vade same sandhyasti majjage that is rasna panchakam please take it from me rasna guduji merandam devadaru mahoshadam five wonderful anti rheumatological drugs in ayurveda rasna ಜಿ ಮೇರಂಡಂ ದೇವದಾರು ಮಹೌಷಧಂ ಪಿಬೇ ಸರ್ವಾಂಗಕೇ ವಾದೇ ಸಾಮೆ ಸಂಧ್ಯಸ್ತಿ ಮಜ್ಜಗೇ ರಾಸ್ನಾ ಪಂಚಕಂ ದೆನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಮೋರ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಟು ರಾಸ್ನಾ ಸಪ್ತಕಂ ಓ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಾಸ್ನಾ ಸಪ್ತಕಂ ರಾಸ್ನಾ ಮೃದಾರಂಗೋದ ದೇವದಾರು ತ್ರಿಗಂಡ ಗೈರಂಡ ಪುನರ್ನವಾನಂ ಕೋದಂ ಪಿಬೇ ನಾಗರ ಚೂರ್ಣ ಮಿಶ್ರಂ ಜಂಘ ಊರು ತ್ರಿಗ ಪೃಷ್ಠ ಪಾರ್ಶ್ವ ಶೂಲಿ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ ಯು ಲರ್ನ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ 30 ಯೋಗ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಓವರ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ the problem is if you open ayurveda textbooks you are getting 30000 of yoga so you will see this much ocean of ayurveda you will never study any yoga this is what is happening i am requesting you study important 30 yoga 30 30 yoga 30 then most of the diseases will come under the umbrella of such pharmacological formulation you will be easily understanding i always respect you when i am sitting in the opd i am thinking about the patient for my yoga not from yoga to yoga yoga to yoga my pg students are often telling most dr goba kumar our beloved teacher is very much depressed do you know why his guru chiyadi didn't come till now 
I am not joking. His guduchiyadi didn't come till now means there is a particular patient in Gobagumar's mind to him. He has to prescribe a guduchiyadi. What is that patient? Pitta, Sleshma, Brana, Chardi, Daha, Trishna, Adhanam, Akinigir. I know the cellular biology of certain important yoga. Then as soon as I am getting the patient, I am very happy. Finally, my padoladi came, my guduchiyadi came, my vidadiyadi came, and my dirashadi came. But no, dandandiram. Dandandiram will come very soon. Are you getting me? So learn the Atma of certain yoga, then automatically you will find the concerned patient. That is what is called reverse pharmacology. From yoga to yoga and yoga to yoga. I am telling from yoga to yoga. If you know 30 yoga, there will be 300 patients in your mind. No doubt. So please practice. These are the medicines which can be given. And one more drug is Lacha Gugulu. I always prescribe Lacha Gugulu. Lacha Santhaniyanam Sreshta. The best drug which will keep the structures together. Thile Rasayanam. Thile Rasayanam is extremely beneficial in the management of Asti Sarakinada. You know Gendha Dailam. Gendha Dailam is the yoga told by Susurda in the Bhagina Pradeshida. Fractional management. In the fractional management, Gendha Dailam is issued. And we give Gendha Dailam to every osteoarthritis and osteoporotic patient after the Panchakarma. So, Gendha Thailam which contains Thila, Thila Rasayana, Lacha Gungulu, Rasna Panjagam, Rasna Sattagam are the internal medicine where you find all Asthichayam. And I will tell you one more thing. When there is Asthichayam, think about the clinical application of Thikta Rasagurda and Shira. Wonderful contribution from Aruna Dutta. The classically he is telling anything which is Thikta, Snikta and Khara. Anything which is Thikta, Snikta, Khara, that will empower the Asthi. So after the post-menopausal woman, everybody will be getting Asti Sara Hinada. You always supply Tikta Rasagrida. I am applying you two things. I am giving you two things. Tikta Kagradam and Gugulu Tikta Kagradam. You know what about Gugulu Tikta Kagradam? Tat Sevidam, Pradamadi Prabalam Samidam, Sandhi Asti Machagada Mushtama Pidr. You prescribe 15 gram of Gugulu Tikta Kagrada two times after food. Once you treat with the Panchagarma to prevent the progression of osteoporosis and osteoarthritis. So don't forget that. Rasna Panjagam, Rasna Saptagam, Lacha Gugulu, Tilarasayanam, and the wonderful medicine Gendaga Daila Genda Daila Vinjanali in Asti Sarahinata. There is an external application called Ketagi Mula di Thailam. I repeat, Ketagi Mula di Thailam that is indicated for Dhara. You know, Ketagi is a wonderful drug which is indicated in the joint destruction. So, Dhara, which is done with the Ketagi Mula di Thailam, Janu Sandi Dhara, Griva Sandi Dhara, Kadi Dhara, with the Ketagi Mula di Thailam is extremely beneficial beneficiary in cervical spondylosis, lumbar spondylosis and even chronic advanced osteoarthritis of the knee joint. So, Ketagi Mula Dithailam never forget. Next. My dear, please, please go, go. Yes, X. Same thing only. Same. You can see this is the ultimate prevention. If you take all the drugs which we simply give for analgesic or NSAID, finally he will be landing to this such a stage. So prescribe Google Dikta Garda, Vardamana Pipilasana, Chira Basti, Shabdarana Churna in the appropriate stage. You can prevent this uh, deformities in the advanced conditions. Next. Next. Osteoarthritis we have already discussed. Next. You can see this is the joint damage. This is the joint damage. This will be occurring in the patient after 10 years minimum at the age of 45 to 50. They will go for knee transplantation. They have to go for knee transplantation in such a condition only. Google Dikta Gurdam, Ganda Dailam, Tikta Gurdam, Lacha Google, everything have to be indicated. And you can add with the natural Kukudanda Basma, Pravala Basma, Mukta Basma, which will be having natural calcium, which is very much important. And every Sandhi Gadavada, I treat this case as per the protocol given by Sandhi Gadavada. Vada Purna, the Visparsham, Sovam, Sandigadu Vanilla, Prasaran, Agunjanio, Pravarti Savedana, Prasarana means flexion, Agudana means extension, Prasaran, Agunjanio, Pravarti Savedana. Beautifully told, painful flexion and extension is nothing other than osteoarthritis, Dadu Bagam, Asti Sara Hinada, and give every treatment which will empower the Asti. That is what we have discussed till now. And there is a wonderful treatment called Upanaga Seva. I will tell some practical treatments which can be done in your Panchakarma theatre. Ubanaga Sedam, you know what is Ubanaga Sedam? In Ubanaga Seda, you take a Vada Gara Churna and you take a Vada Gara Churna, you can add a little bit of Sindava, Dhanya Amla plus one Taila. My dear friends, I am telling you the ingredients of a classical practical Ubanaha. In a classical practical Ubanaha, you can always supply 
you can always apply a churna the churna can be nagaradi churna the churna can be bela churna add sindavam and add little bit of uh, amla rasa that is dhanya amla you know dhanya amla it is called kanchikam yes or no yes are you using dhanya amla or kanchikam or you can use any amla dravya any amla dravya even vinegar people use Amala Dravya is very much essential to create the Ubanaga Sveda and you mix the mixture and apply in the joint affected in the evening, remove the in the morning. Are you getting me? Yes or no? I think you have never used Ubanaga Sveda. Some Ubanaga block I am observing here. <laughs> Ubanaga Sveda is a very simple yoga. People always spend a big, big uh, Sveda Karma only. They will do only Dhara because it will be charged by 15,000, 20,000. It is very 100 rupees. You know, we have to treat very poor patients also. Ayurveda always think that uh, Adura Saab to be understood as your so putra bala. Am I right? Everybody can be our putra. But somebody should be our putra. So, Atmanam, that, that is to be mentioned. So, in such a condition, when the patients are very poor, you think about Ubanaha, Bela Churna plus, Saindava plus, Danyamra plus, one Vadahara Thaila can be Bela Thaila, Narayana Thaila, Dhanandiri Thaila. Make a mixture, heat it, apply in the knee joint, cover with the Yerenda Patra, cover with the Yerenda Patra, make a bandage, let it be there overnight, tomorrow morning remove it. Betham Ratro Diva Munjed, Munjed Ratro Diva Thurda, that is Ubanaga Seda. Very much essential. So you can prevent all these joint damages if you do in the very early phase. Next. And you can see almost every joint will be affected due to the uh, wear and tear. That is the age related degeneration. You have to always give internally Thaila Kalpana. I always recommend Dhanandaram Thailam Avarti. Do you know Avarti Thaila? Dhanandaram 21. Have you heard about it? Yes or no? Thanandaram 21, Shidabala 21, Sakadaradi 21. Our repeatedly processed Thaila Kalpanas are given for strengthening the weakened joint in degeneration. That is what I am telling. So I am telling you boldly, you take the pen and write Thanandaram 21, our 10 drops with milk twice daily after food. Over. Fill it, forget it. I am telling you. Dhanandaram 21 avarthi, 10 drops with milk, 2 times after food for a minimum 21 days. That is very excellent therapy for empowering the bonds from damaging and preventing the bone mineral density. Next. Next. Okay, okay. Go further. All these pictures only. And when this is very important, when you are getting osteoarthritis of the hip joint, we always recommend on thylum called Madhuyashtya the thylum. I repeat, this yoga is available in Gambhira Vadarekta Chakilsa. There is a chapter called Vadarekta where Gambhira Vadarekta is very much similar to the chronic advanced uh, dermatological condition. So, Madhu Yashtiyadi Thailam can be given 15 ml. 15 ml of Madhu Yashtiyadi Thailam can be given with the Chira Kalpana 21 days continuously. Very good even in the hip joint arthritis with the avascular necrosis. Do you know what is avascular necrosis? The femoral head is devoid of any blood supply and there can be the problem where the patient will be getting a reduction in the femur, uh, means the femoral head and the joint uh, will be very close and you are getting reduction in the limb length. We call it as Perthes disease. You know Perthes disease where the concerned lower limb will be having lengthwise reduction. So that is Madhu Yashtiyadi Thailam internally. That is very good in the osteoarthritis of the hip joint. Next. 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 You can see the both sides are having bilateral uh, symmetrical osteoarthritis. Next. This is typical. You can see the space reduction. Space reduction is there in the knee joint, which is due to the erosion of the cartilage, which is in between the two bones. Next. 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 So, this is why I already discussed external and local treatments. Next. Lebana, Abhyanga, Parishega, Avagaha, Vorupanagana. This is the order of joint management externally. I repeat, Behi Parimardina Chagilsa can be done in this order only. Start with Lebana, then Abhyanga, then Parishega, then Avagaha. I will tell example for each one by one. Next. Pain dominant joint, Vada, tenderness and swelling, Pitta domination and swelling and stiffness. Kapha. Very useful clinical tips as per science. Pain dominant joint vada, tenderness and swelling pitta and swelling and stiffness kapha. That is the primary point which is not which is to be always addressed without any dilution. Next. And I am giving you the external application. Nagara the leba, Grihaduma the leba in vada, Jadamaya the leba pitta, Gildun the shah the leba, Kottam chukka the leba kapha. You don't worry about the name. The last name is Malayali name only. Kottam chukka. The Kottam is nothing other than Kushta. 
you can uh, you can administer any tikshna dravya in kapha dominant joint condition you can apply sida vidya drugs in pitta dominant you can apply ushna vidya drugs in vata dominant so that is the simple art and science of logical prescription these are the external taila for abhyanga dannandaram tailam ketagi mooladi tailam narayana tailam purely vata purely vada pinna tailam aranaaladi tailam purely pitta you know what is pinna tailam the best taila in gout arthritis in gout arthritis it is a pitta domination samaduchishta manjishta sarjarasa shariba pinna tailam tadabhinga badarekta rujabaham so pinna taila is a drug which is prepared from manjishta maduchishta sarjarasa shariba externally uh, given as a shamana to the daha then finally chidabala tailam kottam chukadi tailam karpa sasthyadi you know karpa sasthyadi that is excellent kapahara yoga in stiffness when you are getting a frozen shoulder when you are getting a frozen shoulder when you are getting a frozen neck with cervical spondylosis think about karpa sasthyadi tailam that is tishna you understand all the tailas nigda but certain are vada specific certain are pitta specific and certain are kapha specific that is art karpa sasthyadi is excellently given in griva griham that is the cervical spondylosis manya stambham next ദശമൂല ധാര ധാന്യാമല ധാര ധാര വിത്ത് മഹാസ്നേഹ സീ ദ ലോജിക് എ സെൽഫ് എക്സ്പ്ലനേറ്ററി സ്ലൈഡ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് യോഗ ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ഇൻ പിത്ത ദശമൂല ക്ഷീര ധാര പിത്ത ഓൺലി ധാന്യാമല ധാര പിത്ത കഫ ഓൺലി ആൻഡ് ധാര വിത്ത് മഹാസ്നേഹ വാത ഓൺലി വാട്ട് ഇസ് മഹാസ്നേഹ സർബർ മജ്ജ പസ തൈല സോ ഡു ധാര വിത്ത് ക്ഷീര ഇൻ പിത്ത ഡു ധാര വിത്ത് തക്ര ഇൻ കഫ ശിരോധാര ആൻഡ് ഡു ധാര വിത്ത് തൈല വാത വെൻ ദർ ഇസ് ഡീപ് സീറ്റഡ് വാത നോ തൈല എലോൺ തൈല പ്ലസ് സർബൽ പ്ലസ് വസ പ്ലസ് മജ്ജ ദറ്റ് ഇസ് മഹാസ്നേഹ are you getting me so understand the logic understand I actually i don't have time to teach to such a level of simplicity understand the guna vikalpa in the joint treat accordingly if there is root chada you do snigdada if there is sidada you apply ushnada so that is the vikalpa samprati understanding the fractional involvement of individual properties of individual dosha that is the art and science of ayurvedic diagnosis you very well know each and every cell as per the modern medicine is having a certain vata pitta kapha configuration if you are getting a dry root chada cell in the body treat with snigda if you are getting a sheetha guna muscle fiber with the lack of contraction treat with ushna if you are getting a manda guna gland with the thyroid with the less production of thyroid hormone treat with the tishna are you getting me yes or no vritti samane sarvesha vibhirida vibhiriya cellular biology is nothing other than ayurveda guna vigalpa that is my conclusion cellular biology is nothing other than ayurveda guna vigalpa identify which property vitiated in which cell treat accordingly in any cell which is vata pitta it will be dry it will be shosha only i will tell simple example simple example even though i don't have time i should teach it because fundamentals only create clinician you imagine a flesh draksha you know draksha you imagine a draksha and you keep the draksha in the road what will happen evening the draksha the very glamour draksha will become the dry draksha why the kapha water in the draksha lost the cell become the drasha begin rootsha you take the dry drasha and in the fry in the ghee you are preparing paisa what will happen what will happen please please what will happen the shushka drasha will become again rehydrated the dehydrated drasha will become rehydrated now you forget the drasha and you remember your cell a cell in the body which is subjected to rootsha janita vada plus ushna janita pitta the cell will lose the cytoplasm jela kapha the cell will become dry dehydration so rehydration is kapham dehydration is vada pitta then you give grida to the patient with the dehydration the cell will absorb kapha cell will become regenerated rootsha guna in the cell will be having three pathology degeneration dehydration demyelination yes or no Yes. i repeat rootsha guna in the cell wherever in the body whether it is in the muscle nerve bone rbc wbc spermatocyte chondrocyte osteocyte wherever be rootsha da in the cell will be leading to degeneration dehydration and demyelination treat with snigdada vata pitta dehydration and kapha rehydration so you apply vidaryadi gridam you take the pen and confidently write vidaryadi gridam remembering the sloka vidaryadi rayam hrityo brahmano vada vittaka shosha gulma anga mardorda shosaka sahayogana are you getting me yes. yes or no once i was asking the same example what will happen to the drasha in the evening one boy who was in the back side told sir the crow will take it away 
then i told our ayurveda is taken by some crows only <laughs> never ever allow any crow to take and hijack your ayurveda that is my left ventricular request number 2 one more is remaining okay so these are the ubanaga i told you ubanagas are preferred in severe painful joint with restricted movements next example in chronic swollen joints i told you nagarad leba saindava dhanyamla narayana taila typical example you take the screenshots and always keep in your manovaka srodas otherwise krimi will come virus will come and take away so i am telling you so this is the ubanaga seda with nagarad leba churna saindava dhanyamla narayana taila ubanaga seda is self generating the heat which will prevent the local damage and bring down the sofa that is the best clinical observation next then another ubanaga with stiffened condition kottam chukadi lepa churna saindava karpa sasya ditaila dannandaram dannyamla you never bother about the medicine i am teaching you the concept the medicine which is available in thane the medicine which is available in maharashtra with kavagara property can give i am giving a popular you never think about the drug drug are secondary the first thing is the concepts principle to practice practice to principle word to word word means w o r d word aptopadesha word clinical application o to a w o r d word w a r d word only one letter is differing o to a o for opportunity a for action oh, my god every sloga is an opportunity for an action in the multiple patients that is what ayurveda is telling are you getting me sir no yes now only one more sir no in one cme at the end one boy came to me sir you asked 100 times yes or no he was counting that only okay don't worry so i will go to the next 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 and now i am coming to the internal medicine the internal medicine which are widely given in different condition rasne randadi khoda gugul vittaka khoda manjishtadi khoda ashtavarga khoda kaisura gugulu chandra prabhavadi chandra prabhavadi is extremely beneficiary when there is a kapha dominant condition chandra prabhavadi is drug which will act at dhadu level so that is to be kept in your mind ashtavargam kashayam that is to be given when there is a kapha vada you know how kapha vada can be identified pain with the swelling pain with the stiffness kapha vada only pain vada only swelling kapha painful swelling kapha vada bella sagada reiranda shundi rasna sulandruma sarindu vara nisini ashtavargo anilabaha this is not working ड्रग <laughs> नेक्स्ट now i will be the target is the immune correction and the prevention of joint destruction panjagarma bridges rasayan already told next 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 this is an important panjagarma for very serious practitioners madu tailika vasti an excellent vasti against rheumatoid arthritis it is indicated in ra next and leech therapy every day we do leech therapy in all chronic advanced rheumatoid arthritis condition you very well know that saliva of the leech contains more than 30 chemicals the modern vascular surgeons have identified the saliva of the leech contains more than 30 chemical they have thrombolytic vasodilator and analgesic property 